Hey y'all, it's Dan Greer with Eclipse DOT, and today we're talking all about restrictions on your CDL and your CDL permits. So we've already talked about the E restriction, the O restriction, the L restriction, the K restriction, and we've talked about some of the restrictions you're only going to find on your permit, like the X restriction and the P restriction. Now, I want to talk about the M and the N, as in Mike in November, restrictions that you also could have in your license. So the way you get the M and the N restriction is if you've got a passenger's CDL, so if you've got a passenger's endorsement, a P endorsement on your CDL, and you took the test in a class B passenger vehicle, okay, then you would have a actual like a class B CDL with a P endorsement, and you would also then have a M is in Mike restriction, meaning you can't drive a class A passenger vehicle. All right, so now that we've kind of cleared that up a little bit, let's talk about the N is in November restriction. Now, if you went and took your CDL test, your skills test, in a class C CDL vehicle, so it means it was under 26,000 pounds, but it was a passenger vehicle, meaning that it was rated to carry, uh, it was designed for the factory to carry 16 or more passengers, including the driver, then that would be a class C CDL. So you know those like Ford micro buses and stuff like that that hold like 20 passengers or 18 passengers and they're like an F450, F350, so they're under 26,000 pounds, right? That would be a class C CDL. So you might have a class C CDL with an N restriction on it. Now that N restriction means you can't drive a class B passenger vehicle. Now, here's the next thing I want you to think about. If you've got a class A CDL and you took your passengers test in a class B vehicle, you're still gonna get that M is in Mike restriction on your license saying that you can't drive class A passenger vehicles. Now it doesn't mean you can't drive a class A CDL vehicle, it means you can't drive a class A passenger vehicle. Now, if you've got, let's say, a class B CDL because you tested in a dump truck and then you came back and got your passenger's endorsement, one of those little like micro buses, okay, that's made to carry 16 or more passengers, then you would have a class B CDL with an N is in November restriction on your license, meaning you can't drive a class B passenger vehicle. So you can only drive a class C passenger vehicle even though you have a class B CDL. Does that make sense? I know, it doesn't really, does it? But leave it to our federal government to screw things up for us. I'm just kidding, or am I? Okay, am I? <laughs> I'm kidding, kind of. Um, my point is, is that you need to know what those restrictions are so that you can actually get through them, okay? And know what you can drive and what you can't drive depending on what's on your CDL. All right, chat with you guys later. Bye.